name is Mr. Mike Johnson. Mr. Mike Johnson. year and a half, 6 a.m. guy shows up, always there, putting in the work. There it is. Look at that blend in. Yeah, 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 right on, man. Good stuff. All right, so uh, let me get the picture real quick. No, that's not going to work because that's not, that's not live phone. That phone is dead. So anyways, so just like Ms. Kim had to, I'd like for him to share because everybody has a different story. Everybody has a different, a different journey of why they started, you know, like how they started in the whole process. So, so far, because you know, I've been trained about a year and a half, like what, what got you into Jiu-Jitsu? Like what made you start? Made me start. I just finally said I'm going to do it. Uh, but I could probably rewind it to 12 years when I was 18. I was 105 pounds, real tiny, and it was just one of those things. I'm like, man, jujitsu works for a little guy. I got like a gift for a one must try on a gi, and I just never went. Just went off to college, did all my things there, moved, started work, and it just never did it. Started lifting weights, got bigger. I was like, dude, I still want to do this. Mm -hmm. So I think kind of the pushover, maybe listening to like Joe Rogan. They're always talking about jujitsu right. and thank you, Joe watching, Rogan. watching the UFC and you know doing all that. I'm like. And it's right around the corner. He's got five stars. Let's check him out. Checked out another one too, but came back to you, man. Oh, okay. So how how is the how has the journey been so far? Like, is it is it is it easy? Is it hard? Is it diff you know? Is it same thing as everybody else, man? It's got its ups and downs. Uh, running these plateaus where it's real frustrating, like like real frustrating. You can't do anything. Uh, just kind of push through it. We got a lot of students here. Who, who, who are the ones that frustrate you? Mm -hmm. They just encourage you as well. They're like, look, man, it's, it's just part of it. Mm -hmm. You're going to get me, just keep coming. So mm -hmm. just like Angel said yesterday, just keep coming. That's been the biggest thing for me. Yeah. You come and then just one day it clicks and, oh, I'm not, I'm not stuck anymore. Yeah. And then you, you stick again. Do you feel like we have a lot of people here that, that offer help too? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I stay after on a lot of 6 a.m.s if I can. Um, KJ, Rizzo, you, Henderson, anybody, I mean, White belts, we all help each other, but the colored belts are willing to, okay, you keep stuff in my game, like, how are you doing that? Mm -hmm. They're hesitant to tell you, but they, they still tell you. Mm -hmm. They might not, let, they you, they you. Might not let you implement it. If they, but, if they didn't tell you, then you're going to come see me, then we got a problem. Because everybody needs to share the information. You know, you want to hold it tight because you're like, ah, it works, but you want it to not work at some point so you can get better because that's how you grow. That's how you get better. So you have to share the information. Um, I heard you say something the other day, I think you, you lost some weight. You you yeah, you weren't even trying or something. Yeah, so I'm 105 pounds because I have Crohn's. Uh, so I worked really hard for years to just gain weight, mm -hmm. and I got up to about a buck 80. That's like five times a week, all strong lifts at the gym. Started here, my body just couldn't keep up with both at first, mm -hmm. and I've lost 15 pounds. <laughs> no, okay. it's muscle, but I mean, it just right falls off. So are you, like, are you eating healthier? Or are you changing? Yeah, my, I mean, my diet's kind of the same because I have Crohn's. Like I kind of avoid fried stuff and and whatnot. I still don't eat super clean all the time, but I eat a lot of like lean meats and rice and all that anyway. Okay. Um, but I, I just avoid things naturally because of Crohn's. Right on, right on. So good stuff, man. So again, same, it's the same thing. And everybody has, because it's, if it's coming from me all the time, then it's just coming from me all the time. So other people have to share their stories so that you can hear the frustrations, the goods and the bad parts, and, and be like, hey, I can relate to that. I can relate to that, you know? So like you said, don't quit, don't give up. It's a new journey. I've had some. I've had some blue belts that I've just given blue belts to, and I never see them again. Well, that was my next announcement. And I'm like, you. I'm like, man, man. that's like a scary thing. Like, it's like I don't. Sometimes I'm like, I don't know if I want to give this guy the blue belts or this lady the blue. I might not see him again after this. I'll be here Monday. Oh man, you hear that? The whole world's watching Facebook. Six a.m. We had six a.m. class. So now we're gonna come find him. Okay. Anyways, congrats. One more time. Congratulations. Thank you.